Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time coming on my channel, hello. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're already part of the fam, hello. How are you? Thank you for your continued support. So today I wanted to come to you guys with a video all about my Apple AirPods. So if you are watching this video, more than likely you are interested in purchasing some wireless headphones. I've had my AirPods for about a couple weeks now, so I feel as if I can do a very well-rounded review, okay? First off, I was a little bit hesitant about getting the Apple AirPods because studies have been done on wireless headphones and, you know, they're not so positive. Are we shocked? Are we shocked? No, we're not. The study resulted in them finding out that wireless headphones can possibly cause cancer. And at this point, I'm like, what doesn't cause cancer? What doesn't cause cancer these days? Huh? What doesn't cause cancer? Anyways, after I was kind of like, you know what? I really want some wireless headphones. I went ahead and purchased my Apple AirPods. Now, this is the second gen Apple AirPods, just to make sure we are clear. One reason why I did want to transition into the AirPods is simply because I was getting so sick of the headphone cord being in my way when I work out. So, I wanted to have a simple, easy, and just cordless free workout okay that's a lot of reasons as to why i did want to go with some wireless headphones another reason why i wanted to go with wireless headphones is because when i'm at work and i may want to listen to some music people can automatically see that i have on headphones so they may not speak to me they may not say anything to me and in my line of work i need to be receptive to any type of conversations all day long okay i definitely wanted to get them for that as well and yeah that's pretty much the basis around why i wanted to transition into wireless headphones let's get into the packaging and then I'll get into the pros and cons. The Apple AirPods come in this white box. It is Apple's iconic, basic white box. I mean, nothing really that spectacular about it. When you open up the box, you're gonna have a little guide in here that I would definitely advise everybody to read because it has some things in there that you want to be aware of, as in how to wear your AirPods, when to wear your AirPods, when not to wear your AirPods. I definitely read the guide. So if I was you and you were looking into getting Apple AirPods, I would definitely make sure when you do purchase them, read the guide inside, okay? And when you take off the guide, on, underneath the guide is going to be the Apple AirPods case right here. Now, I was shook, okay? I was shook immediately opened up the case okay and it automatically connected to my phone and I was just so like wow like it automatically connected and I was like wow so let's see if I can demonstrate for you guys I have my Apple AirPods open right here and I have my phone now in this white box is just a in this white box, it has your Apple AirPods on there. So if I turn it to the side because the contrast is so high, it lets you know, here we go, it lets you know the battery life of your case and also your AirPods. So the case has a battery of its own and the AirPods have a battery of their own as well. So I thought that was so cool. It just shows you how savvy Apple's technology really is. That blew me away automatically. Now I do have the iPhone XS Max, so I don't know if that is a reason as to why it connected so well. It could be, I'm not sure, but hey, if you have an Apple iPhone and it's updated and all that good stuff, you should have no problem connecting your AirPods to your phone. Let's go ahead and get into the pros and the cons. Pro number 
one. Like I mentioned, they are so practical. I mean, they are easy to use. They are easy to connect to your phone. They are just overall an easy device to have. Next, I really love how the case is so compact. I mean, you can put it into anything, anywhere, any purse, any backpack, and it's pretty much going to stay in that area. It's not going to be bulging out. It's, it's not a nuisance, you know? A lot of people may think that this could kind of be a little bit annoying because you have to carry it around all the time, but it is not annoying at all. To be honest, if your case is charged, you should barely have to touch this unless you're going in to get your AirPods or if you're putting them back in. Secondly, I would say the battery life of the actual case is pretty darn good. Right now, my actual case is on 36% and my headphones are on 100%. But the last time I actually charged my case, I can't even remember. It, it may have been a week since the last time I actually charged my case. Another pro is that the AirPods themselves are very lightweight. They aren't bulky. They aren't going to annoy you. I mean, sometimes when I'm working out or if I'm just wearing them at work or just around the house, if I just want a little bit more in tune with the music, I cannot tell that they are in my ear. Sometimes I forget. I definitely forget sometimes when I have only one in. So I think that's really, really nice that they're lightweight and not bulky. Another pro, which may not be a pro to some people, is the actual look of the headphones. They're very sleek. They're that apple, nice, white. You can't go wrong with the actual look. So if you're looking for something that looks sleek, that just looks very modern, then I would definitely go for the AirPods. Now let's get into the cons. As I mentioned, the case keeps a very good charge. But the AirPods themselves, I would say on a scale of zero to 10, the charge that it keeps, maybe a seven, maybe a seven and a half. If you wear them all the time, you're going to have to constantly charge them. I would definitely be cautious about, first off from the jump, I would be cautious about how much you're actually wearing these in your ears. When you read the guide, you will see that they will mention, and it's a warning for electromagnetic leakage of the earpiece. Now, this could take place in very dry weather, and it could take place in other situations as well, so I would definitely be careful about wearing these all the time. I will wear them only when necessary, only when you need to. If you're a person that loves to listen to music all day, definitely take a break from them, okay? Don't have them in all day, just like wearing them around. Take them out, give your ears a break. I believe that the, ear, the AirPods are great for working out, but the downside to that is you do feel like they may come out. Now for me, it's not both of my ears. The only ear that I feel like it's going to come out of is the left ear, not the right ear, the left ear. And before I even got my Apple AirPods, I did research and that was one of the cons that came up in one of the reviews. It was a female who mentioned that she felt like they were always going to fall out of her ears. So if you are working out, now I've done burpees, I've done strenuous workout activities with my Apple AirPods in and they did not fall out, okay? So let me just make that clear, they did not fall out, but I felt like they were, which means that I am on high alert, which means I'm constantly pushing it in my ear. So that could be annoying for some that you just have that feeling that they may come out and that could be annoying and I've gotten annoyed with that but at the end of the day they're not going to come out so what I do plan on doing is purchasing an Apple AirPod kit from off Amazon I've seen it and they look pretty cool so I really want to try them out they have earpieces that you can put on your Apple AirPods for them to fit better within your ear they also have a little lanyard type ordeal where you could keep up with your Apple AirPods and wear them more so like a wireless headset that has a wire um, so yeah I definitely may pick those up and if I do I will come back on here and let you guys know how I like it and if it really did help my cons go away another con is is earwax. I think you're going to have this with any type of wireless headphone, but I feel as if my ears produce more earwax 
with these headphones. I don't know what it is, and I'm sure there's something more biological that goes along with that, but um, I definitely develop more earwax and if you've had an apple headset before not the airpods but you know just the ones that have the cord the regular ones that you get when you buy your phone if you've ever had those you know that wax will build up in your earpiece and so you have to constantly clean it so i would definitely say that is a con and I'm a person that I religiously clean my ears. Like, I do not like wax buildup in my ears. So, I'm one who really likes to clean my ears. But I still find that my AirPods are getting nasty. And I'm not saying super, super nasty. But, you know, seeing wax on earphones is gross. You definitely are going to have to clean them. So, if you're not a person who likes to clean headphones then these may not be for you. If you're a person who don't care, then by all means, honey, have your dirty Apple AirPods. I'm not gonna judge you. I, I get it, okay? I get it. The best con that I would discuss is the actual cost of the headphones. Well, AirPod headphones retail for about $159. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any other questions for me about the headphones, please put them down in the comment section. I would definitely answer them for you. I wanted to make this video because I really wanted to come and give a more well-rounded review of the product. Don't forget to like this video, and if you want to join the MDD family, go ahead and click that subscribe button and subscribe. And if you don't want to join, that's okay, Alicia here. Hopefully I made you smile, I made you laugh, and gave you some good tips on the AirPods. So, smooches, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!